So, I'm gonna start with the brick bed today. Not much to see here. It's looking pretty bad. We pulled up some carrots last week to go to the relatives. And I do see one of these snow peas popping up. So I may actually pull it all together as well. Not sure, but I do want to plant a couple more snow peas out here for them to climb up this trellis once I wind up pulling this tomato. I did get more flowers after I harvested the, um, the one tomato that was on here. So it is uh, recovering and restarting over. This one never did. I haven't seen a single, have I seen a flower on this? Here's Jimmy. Flowers are flowering. So I hope to get a pepper. I do have these sweet red cherry peppers. They stay green forever in 400 days. So they are not gonna be my pepper. I don't care how good they taste. Well, I'll take that back. If they taste like actual cherries, <laughs> they'll be my peppers, but I doubt very seriously if they taste like that. So here's Bryn. Got these other carrots around here. Got my verbena. I got Bina. More kahunas here. I don't think she's gonna do anything, but we'll see. Uh, Bina. More peas and more kahunas. I need to pull up all these mulberries. These are all mulberries. <laughs> Ooh, the ants are. Ants are fucking that okra up. See if knocking them off is going to help. But anyway, it's doing a little something. I'm not holding my breath, but the ones in front, they should give me a few fruit before the season's out, which I'm hoping for because I want to get seeds from them. When these carrots uh, develop, I'm just going to pull them and eventually. Look at these. These peas, I, I get like... I get like maybe five beans a day. I think I'm gonna pull these plants. And it's supposed to rain the next couple of days, so I'll count on that rain to help me water. Let me pull these. Pull you up. Pull you up. Pull you up. Pulling up all the ones that aren't giving oh these are playing games oops there's one there's one big long string bean so i'm going to take all these leaves and use them to mulch something that needs food and i need to get the shovel and loosen up the soils in here as well Mm, this is the callaloo, the first callaloo that came up. Tomatoes to eat. Hmm. Yes, this is how. This is how they should taste. That's the Aconcagua. Bars. She's coming along. Her sisters are doing much better than she is, but she's coming along. Excellent. Excellent growing pepper. Don't know how to taste it. I got a couple of cucumbers off here. You can see there are a lot more coming on. So by the end of the week, I see, I see at least four peppers. I mean, uh, cucumbers, sorry. There's uh, Maureen. Maureen, she's happy in here. So, like I said, next year I'm going to plant three of her along the back there. Yeah, she really likes it over here. And I'm going to let her be great. I think I'll place a couple of these um, Kalu over here as well. I think I have a couple more spaces I can put them. I encourage that to climb differently. I don't know where the wing bean is going or climbing to or whatever. So, I don't know. It's my first time growing them, so we're experiencing thing, different things. I do feel like it is going to rain. 
I'm going to come out and harvest these and I harvested all my little garlic, little bitty garlic, kajari, lots of flowers. I don't see, I uh, only see one female down there and it didn't get pollinated so I don't know what's going on. These are my peas. Thick my purse lane getting because it's humid out here and it's like I said it's about to, it's gonna rain today a little bit. A Concagua, you can tell what she is. I har that's another tomato on my harvest. Um, candy doing her thing. Uh, I'm gotten to where I get to harvest about three a day now. Anyway. I had two pe oh, there comes the rain. There's Brian. Let me come harvest these peas because it's raining.